video circulating of this young lady talking about middle-aged women and we uh, mad, mean, miserable, and lonely, right? And that we missed, because we missed our opportunity to have a good man, and that's why we out here, we just lonely. First of all, let me just clear something up, right? Majority of us middle-aged women, because I consider myself a middle-aged woman, I'm 46 years old. A lot of us are single by choice. Right. Not because we missed our opportunity, but just for the simple fact that the the, the caliber of men that's out here now, to me, in my, in, in my opinion, are not even worth dating or having a relationship with. Get the French toast out of here. And the fact that a lot of you young girls, because a lot of y'all are 20 years younger than me, but you look like you're my age. And that's because you living hard. You know, you doing the age that you are now versus... The age we were back then, you all are doing way more for way less with these men. Namely, big difference in the mentality of the men when I was your age versus the mentality of the men now that you all are with. We not missing out on nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? You all are the ones that's out here feeling, you know, the uh, pressures of social media. So you out here, you know, posting flowers that you bought for yourself. You done took a trip that you paid for on your credit card. You still waiting on him to pay your credit card off. We didn't have to do all of that. See, the men back in my day, you know, when I was your age, they put us in cars, paid cash for cars, put us in cars, put us in cribs. If we already had our own apartment, they paid the rent up for six months. You all not getting that. Stop the cap. <laughs> but you claim that we, we mad and miserable and lonely. We deal with men when we feel like it you all feel this social pressure from social media to post all of this this fake narrative like you in this happy relationship with us older like us middle-aged women we know how to get you know what we need and push them on to the side tell them to get gone y'all want to move them in you know let them sleep uh, you know in the house that you got on your own he not even contributing he not paying no bills really you foot in the whole relationship but the fact that you can be on pictures with this man and i'm gonna tell you something else all the stuff that you post and everything that you got that you claiming that he bought but you really bought yourself you ain't but giving him the attention of about 10, 20 other women because they feel like he didn't bought this for you. He could do it for them. You giving these men way more action and attention than if you were just to with him on your time and terms and keep him a secret and let him get on about his business. We don't have, we don't feel that need to do that. We get what we need from him because we, you know, at the end of the day, we all know the best action or the best sex comes from the, the worst type of man. You're a damaged goods lady. It is very hard to please a woman, bro, so please do not try to do it. And let me explain my logic on why, right? When a man says it's hard to please a woman, I agree with you. The reason why is because a pleaser is someone who's trying to get another person to agree and like them, no matter what. You're constantly trying to get that woman to agree and like you. When the goal is not for her to agree and like you, the goal is for her to respect you as a man because you are a leader. You are the head of household. She needs to respect you. Now, when we talk about respect, this goes both ways. But let me break down what that what respect means, bro, when she should be looking at you. Right. Respect is is one who has a deep admiration for you because of your actions, because of things that they've observed. They respect you and they're willing to follow you out of that respect or have a mutual level of respect with you. OK. Now, the, the actual root word of spec is to observe. I want you to pay attention to this, bro, because this is important for men. The root word of spec is to observe. What that means is that your woman is going to love you so much more. She's going to follow you. She's going to listen to what you say when she observes your actions, sees that you are continuing to develop and grow as a man. And through those observations, she is willing to follow you, love you, and listen to what you are saying which means that you don't have to please her, AKA trying to get her to agree with you or like you because the goal isn't for agreeance or like, the goal is respect, right? Because we think that we need to influence a woman that if I, get, if I can just figure out how to get her to agree with me, I'll be able to get my way. Wrong, bro. Get her to respect you and no matter what you say, she will follow your lead blindly 
and because of what she's observed thus far around your life and she knows that you're not going to fail her and when she feels that she has a sense of comfortability now in her femininity now remember i'm only talking about feminine women right now right so let's not get this confused she's going to be able to relax in her feminine nature because of the fact that she respects you because of what she's observed she feels safe and now you no longer have to be a pleaser because she respects you you get that she respects you bro so go throughout your life right now with every woman that you're associated with or your wife your girlfriend whatever it may be the goal is to get her to respect you not for you to try to please her okay but this is mutual as well, bro. This is not be she respects you and then you don't respect her in return. These are mutual, which means that you have to observe her as well and say, is this a woman that I, 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 I should be associated with that I should want to marry or have as my, my girl because I observe that she has the qualities of a woman with femininity involved. What is your confession? <laughs> no way. I definitely had a five. What? And it was right after I got done with my wife boyfriend and it was all black guys this is ridiculous man ridiculous what are the chances me and my homies and you have a fourth what are the chances we do that right now right now yeah in the middle of all this nah we got a bnb five minutes away okay Go back to the crib. This one ready right now. Okay. Can you feel it? Mm. It feel good to you? Mm. So what we talk about? Okay. So you want a stingy man, but you haven't been stingy with yours. I ain't saying I ain't been stingy. I just say manage business. You're focused on my future. The fact of the matter is that you want to make sure that you, you know what's your credit score hitting like, bro. You know what I'm saying? What you, you got I some equity? With that. You got you got you got some things going on. What, what, what is the plan? What is the dream? So you're focused on my future. I can't focus on your past, so I gotta forget your past. Well, forget my future then. I mean. But you, you, you can't compare the two. We talk about my sexual history to your financial stability or your future. Well, like that's, that's ain't even on the day, the, the, the scale tip. Well, women provide pleasure and men provide provisions. Those are our golden tickets. That's the same thing. Man. That's why we provide for y'all, for y'all to give us pleasure, duh. Let me go ahead and get triggered to then. Yeah. yeah. Let's Let's this go. is the problem Let's with go. women these days. See, they want something that they can't give. Now, you want me to have all my goddamn future figured out. You want my credit score up. You want me to have real estate. You want all of these things to make sure that we're going to be alive and well in the next 10 years. But I can't talk about your last 10 years. Oh, so you want me to pay top dollar for some cash that you gave away for a shot of Hennessy at some Waffle House 32 times in the past 32 weeks. I say no. Carry your little frisky ass back to the pot. Nah, you burned out. I want that goddamn used ass car. Nah. You trying to make me pay goddamn new car price for that new used ass Nissan Sentra. Nah. That's a 96 Sentra. But Baby, I drive a goddamn 2023 Bentley. It's not the same. I am not paying the same price. <laughs> I'm cooking, I'm cooking.